Hi guys, uh, welcome to the weekend. Um, it's been a tough week for us all and uh, well done for getting through it. It's uh, probably in my uh, 30 odd years of working in and around businesses. This is probably going to be one of the, uh, the toughest that uh, I've certainly encountered uh, and more so because of the speed of change. You know, everything has happened so darn quickly. Um, you know, from where we were last week, I know we had sense of this happening, but the speed of which it's actually happened and the speed of which you guys have had to put things in place, you know, normally that would be, you know, two, three months or so. And um, to have got it done into a week, you know, I'm, uh, I'm pretty, you know, just amazed of how you've all got on with this and uh, immensely proud of the fact that you've, uh, you've, you've got through this week and hopefully going to the weekend in as positive attitude as you can be so uh so it's just just great to work with you and uh, and it sort of made me think about you know my little formula for for success and you know i know i come back to this on a lot of the uh, workshops that we do but it's so important to me because you know at the moment this have is all about survival you know it, that's that's what we turned our focus to everything else went out the window is what do we need to do to actually survive this then we've really had to change our attitude on a lot of things you know from where we were the plans that we were working on you know that attitude has to change now some of us have been through this before and that makes it easier i think because there's i think there's a less panic because we've been here we've been through it we've been able to achieve it for those that are, this is the first one you know it's a it's a big shock to the system that uh, this sort of thing can happen but as i said you know, in my very first webinar you know th these things happen every seven to 15 years something like this happens that we have to change we have to adapt and then you know planning and thinking about what we need to do in the plan my little four point plan which i'll come back to in a minute you know it's so important that you actually you know you're not knee-jerk reaction you know, we plan it out, we look at it, we take a, a non-emotional decision, you know, and then do what's best for us now, but also in the long run as well. So, you know, again, just, just so great to see so many of you just, you know, being totally above the line, you know, taking full ownership for this, <clears throat> not blaming the government, not blaming, you know, the, the disease itself. It's just, you know, taking that ownership, realizing that only you can actually get this business through no matter what you know the customers say what your team say it really is about you taking responsibility and driving this through so back to our our plan summary you know what i wanted to do from today was just give you just a, a little bit of a, a, a refresher but just take you back to the basics okay and make sure that you can tick these boxes at the end of this week and i think most of you have been talking to pretty much every you know at least two three times this week uh to make sure that you have got each of these in place and we should be going into the next week you know with a lot of these boxes ticked ready to hit the next focus which i'll tell you what we're going to be to focus on next week in a minute so the first thing you know with the cash it's been weekly cash flow forecast every one of you must have this written down on a spreadsheet i've, I've sent out it's on the uh, WhatsApp group. I've sent out the um, spreadsheet. Uh, Jane's done a few for you. If you do need some more help with that, please just ask. You know, don't. This is not an option. Okay, you, everybody must have a weekly cash flow for the next 13 weeks, without question. You know, even if you've got money in the bank, I don't care. You've got to have that cash flow done, projected forward. You know at least 13 weeks and then probably towards the end of the year because this is not just going to be two three weeks hit here this is going to be ongoing we've got to be ready to adjust that as we go forward so make sure you've got that if you haven't done it yet you know there's nothing else to do this weekend get your spreadsheet out get it done and say so it's on the uh, webinar sorry on the whatsapp group uh, under documents so if you go to documents you'll be able to download it from there if if you can't find it just email me I'll be checking emails. I'll make sure I get a copy of it over to you. Hopefully, everybody has spoken to their key suppliers. You know, talk to them about you know how they can help you with cash flow. Make sure what the supply chain is like. So, if you need products and you know services, are they going to be there for the next month? 
a lot of businesses are taking this option to furlough their team and downsize you've got to really know exactly where your suppliers are for this okay so yeah, again if you haven't done that monday morning get on talk to those key suppliers you know and also you know if you if you owe them money talk to them tell them that you know we're going to have to hold a bit of money back but give them the reassurance that we will pay them when the cash flow starts to come again also make sure that you know you've thinking about postponing that PAY co uh, corporation tax VAT. VAT you can do, you don't have to ask permission. PAY you still have to ask for time for pay. I gave you the number a while back, the 0800 number to actually do. Again, if you can't get through, write them a letter. Okay, just do that over the weekend. Write a little letter that says, I'd like to take uh, the option for um, uh, postpone our payment of PAY. It's still due, guys, okay? So you're still gonna have to pay this. It's not a holiday, it's not a grant. So if you have got the money, put it to one side, be prepared, okay? I'm just looking to build up a little bit of a nest egg so that if we need it, if things get worse, that we can actually access to it. The other thing you should have done this week is actually spoken to the bank. Now, for some of you, you've got bank managers. I've tried to oil a few cogs, call in a few favors from bank managers I know. If you're struggling to get through, let me know. Uh, I do have some contacts at some of the major banks and I'll do what I can to actually, you know, I can't get you to the top of the line. There's a process for this, but have some form of communication with a bank. We're looking here for increases in overdrafts. We're looking for the, the civil scheme. Um, but, you know, starting that conversation with them so that you know where you're going to be. We've actually got ours. The forms are quite detailed. It's just like you would be asking for a bank. You've got to justify why you need the money. That's why you need that cash flow, okay? As well as for your own benefit, but you need that cash flow to actually get the money from the bank. And I think everybody is looking at, to, you know, how can we cut costs? The other thing is look at the personal side of it, okay? So if there are personal expenses, I mean, you can't go out and do things, but you're going to have to take a bit of hit personally as well. So the mortgage. Uh, holidays you know speak to your mortgage company and see if we can get that uh, a little bit of personal um, breaks as well so you know talk talk to your mortgage company and get that mortgage holiday and I'm going to be running a, a webinar on Friday I'm going to try and do this pretty much every week at four o'clock uh, I've got uh, Dan Gateshill who um, is a finance broker uh, I might even try and get a couple of bank managers on there as well, uh, depending on how they feel, to actually just talk about, you know, any challenges you're having of getting the finance. Okay, I know it's early stages, the banks are inundated, they are short staff, so you've got to be patient with this. Okay, it's not going to happen straight away. You know, it's going to take us at least a month to get this money in place, if not longer. But the sooner we start, the sooner we move things forwards, the better but you've got to get your paperwork right. You've got to have up-to-date 2019 accounts. You've got to have your forecast and you'll have to justify your own personal borrowings. I'm told that the personal guarantees for most banks are being relaxed. So you can get this with just that guarantee funding, but you know nothing's sure. And you've got to be sure that you'll only get the money if your business was in a good position before we went into this crisis. Okay, so if you do have dodgy balance sheets and bad trading up to then, it's going to be difficult. But I think most of you, you know, from what I've seen, certainly management accounts, etc., are in a pretty good shape. So we should be getting something from there. Okay, so that's really, you know, all of that you should have done and should be in a good place. The, the second thing that we most of us have done is speak to all the team okay if you can speak to them face to face then brilliant obviously some of them are now working from home so you'll need to skype again try not to send emails okay try and do this face to face skype you know zoom do it face to face you'll get so much more out of the guys if you do that You've got to have a furlough plan. I mean, the, the furlough rules, the, if you haven't seen the webinar, it'll be uploaded on YouTube, it'll be on the WhatsApp group. The furlough plan has got to be in place, okay? <clears throat> it's, a, it's a very generous offer. I know there's flaws with it. It's a very generous offer from the government. And basically, you know, for a lot of you, it, you know, it's worth taking. I think most of us I've been talking to, we, we have that in place. Um, but you know, you've got to look at every single employee. What if I furlough them? 
what what the implications of that what do i need to do there are some instructions steph from pure hr have been kind to do it you know a lot of documents of that that's all on the whatsapp group again you know we've got to make sure that furlough plan is there have some hr support you know if you want to use steph she is very very busy at the moment obviously with her own clients but i'm sure she'll give us uh, some preferential treatment um to actually help and you know she is on the whatsapp group ask her questions uh because uh, you, you do need that the intricacies of our contracts of employment etc is very very important to have that if you are continuing to work make sure you've got your safe distance training and monitoring in place uh, i put a um a little help sheet wasn't particularly great uh, up on the whatsapp group but everybody there keep telling them about the safe distance of training it's easy to slip back into old habits you know it is for everybody's safety and the worst thing if you are working is suddenly you have people going off sick um, at the moment if you are working at one of the businesses that are being uh, held sort of told to stop working you can keep work but obey the rules keep talking to the guys about it and monitor you know if you can get them all to take their temperatures you know on a regular basis uh, and just check that they are still fit for work okay but uh, make sure you're doing that and every day communicate to them okay if they're remote working you've got to do a, a video call to them you know uh, speak to them or over the phone you know worst case scenario is an email to everybody but i really recommend somebody's talking to those remote workers on a regular basis if they are furloughed that does not mean you stop communicating to them okay so weekly conversations get them you know on a on a call it's not work uh, but give them updates of what's going on uh, have something positive to say if you can and you know again positive news if you continue to work make sure you've got that positive statements going out of you know what's working what's happening uh, within the business itself okay so find something that's positive i know it's hard at the, at the moment but you know see what you can do to actually achieve that customers again this week has been about contacting those key customers make sure you've talked to them what are their plans Have, are they furloughing are they closing down you know if you're chasing money you've spoken to them about okay if they can't pay make sure that they are secure that that money will come in when is it likely to come in when are they likely to start get those mobile numbers of people because obviously working from home you know make sure those key people you have direct access to it's, it's no good just hoping that uh, they're going to be here or actually talking you know um, not understanding what where they where they are with their own businesses as well for everybody else I mean, email. I'm getting lots of emails. Uh, you know, they're fairly bland emails. This is a great chance to build relationships. So, if we are going to do emails, I'll come on to marketing in a bit. Make sure that we're emailing them with something that is actually relevant, not loads and loads of words about you know value customers and things like that. Make it you know, use that time to actually make it you know, more beneficial to them and more informative okay short sharp to the point people don't have time to read long emails talked about collecting debts be empathetic but you know if you can push you know he who shouts loudest gets paid first so you know if we haven't done that this last week it's going to be tough now because a lot of people are going to be at home uh, but if they are still trading then it doesn't mean that uh, that you can't talk to them but every single of those debtors you should have a note that says when are they likely to pay okay so uh, and as we come out of it if you do need some help with debt collection then paul from debt coal you know is on hand you know him and his team will continue to do that service for you but again you've got to be aware that people are going to be in you know, financial difficulty uh, across the board where you can if you are still trading over deliver you know uh, look at ways to add value to to your clients um you know build that into your sort of ongoing plan probably not done that this week but just be thinking about how you can over, over deliver for the next month or so in april and continue to communicate you know don't just think i've furloughed therefore we shut up shop and we don't do anything you've got to keep in touch with these guys okay even if it's once a week something useful that goes out and again we'll come on to that 
a little bit more. So really, that's where you should be. You know, finance in play or not necessarily in place, but a plan and know exactly what you're going to do on the finance next week. The team, the furlough rules, again, end of the month, coming into April, we should know who we're going to furlough. Yeah, and the people that are staying behind, we should be communicating to them and telling them you know, why they're staying behind and that they, you, you really appreciate their services. And then the customers, we should know where our customers are and be ready to sort of, you know, in a position where we can ramp up as we go forwards. If you haven't done that, again, in your plan, what are the three, four, five things, you know, one thing every day next week that you need to put in place, okay? And then we'll review that when I speak to you next week. So next week's focus, got to make sure that we're moving that funding, something's happening to secure that funding for us. Anything that's been left, we need to sort the team. And but if you've done both of those, then we can turn our focus onto the marketing message. Okay, so we're going to continue to market, we're going to continue to talk to people, you know, get that message out. So if you've done those two, you know, if you haven't done those two, that's what I'll be focusing on with you this week or next week. And then we'll be moving on to that marketing message. What do we send that message out? So, win of the week. I'm going to just look at uh, you know, everyone's performing really well. So I'm really proud of you guys and what you've done. Uh, but yeah, every week I'm going to try and find somebody that has sort of in effect gone above and beyond. And for me, this week uh, has definitely been Yale Brothers, uh, the guys there with the um, uh, the Asian food retail outlet and a wholesale business you know they've gone from you know everything sort of falling falling apart to suddenly being over overrun with people stocking up uh, dealing with that we've had sort of um, a, a bad press of uh, misinformation going through social media we've had to deal with that one uh, we've actually had somebody going off on you know with, with, with illness as well so you guys, you know, you, you've done a, a sterling job there uh, and uh, really proud and we'll be getting something, a little something across to you uh, next week just for, you, for the team to, uh, to celebrate with. The one thing that we did forget to do or we did, couldn't do because of the uh, cancellation of the dinner is we did have a win of the quarter, uh, which we were going to uh, award. Now, I did speak to the guys uh, who won it uh, and here's our little award. Uh, so it's our, our win for March 2020. Um, uh, because of the work they've done in, in that first quarter of the year. And the winner of this uh, goes to Nick and Kelvin from Greenlight Electrical. Uh, those guys, you know, uh, Nick has really stepped up uh, into his sort of dad's business, really looking at the numbers. They've put a lot of actions in place. And the result of that was up till March, probably their best quarter. Uh, ever I would say so uh, really really were rocking and roll unfortunately you know the darn virus has kicked in and they've had to sort of you know uh, take a step backwards but you know the work they've done is, is still still being fantastic so well done to you guys well done to Yale Brothers uh, and uh, hopefully you know, if you do have other wins and successes over the next week please do you know let me know because you know sharing these uh, successes is really really important so well done to you guys so enjoy the weekend you know enjoy the garden hopefully the weather's uh, i was going to do this in the garden but the uh, the wi-fi didn't work out there so i had to come indoors um have a fantastic weekend you know try and relax uh, do this great time you know can't do much else do a bit of learning so last month's book of the month Never split the difference. The uh, again, the summary of that uh, we did the, the uh, webinar last week. It's two hours that you can sort of sit and listen to uh, about the summary of the book. But that's a brilliant book. And the next book of the month is going to be the Infinite Game. So so relevant to where we are at the moment. Simon Sinek, you know, must have known this was going to happen. You know, the game at the moment is to stay in the game. That, that is the number one priority. So. Have a great week, guy, weekend, you know, relax, come back on Monday, fight and fit. I've sent out to you all the, uh, the schedules of when I want to see you. Uh, everyone's going to get a touch every single week. Uh, you've got your slots. If you can't make those, let me know and I'll move them around. Uh, and then I'll be available 9 till 10 for anyone that wants me and 5 till 6 for anyone that wants me. So uh, please use those times 
but uh, I, I, you know, we can get through this. We will get through this, and you know, I'm 100% determined to make sure everyone comes out the other side uh, over the next few months. So, take care, guys, and see you next week. Bye for now. I'm going. <laughs>